Oh, flipped them. Oh man, this sucks a lot worse than I remember. I bet you they'll hit hit this raw hook at this point. They're like they're getting so fired up when this hits the water. Yep, they sure did. Oh, I got the bass. Bad, I got the bass on the beer. Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We are right in front of the old academy, as usual, picking up some supplies for today's video because we're doing somewhat of a, what we call this a rescue mission, Madge? I don't know if it's a rescue as much as a uh, save my pond. Because so all my bass are dying. Right, okay, so yeah, let, let's do a little bit of backstory here before we dive into what we're doing. So if you guys have been paying any attention at all, you know my backyard, future trophy bass ponds not doing too hot right this second. Had a couple bass die recently, a couple really nice bass found dead. Uh, we've had a ton of suggestions from you guys as to what to do to improve the pond. And one of the things was increasing the bait population and just kind of increasing the non-catfish population, if that makes sense. Reducing the catfish, increasing everything else as bait for the fish. So if you guys will also remember, we found a hidden pond, the backside of my property, a couple months after we first moved in. And there was, it was actually loaded with like nice bass. It was loaded with giant brim. And it's probably got catfish in it too. But here's the thing, it's incredibly hard to fish that hidden pond. And you guys will see when we get out there. Kind of got like a, a ton of trees and stuff in the water. Traditional bass fishing is not really the best thing to do. But what is gonna pull out just about anything in that little hidden pond are some little, I'm not even gonna say what it is, some special ammunition that you have to come get in the store. This isn't something you can order online. You can find it in your own backyard though if you get a little shovel and get out digging a little bit. But we're also gonna get some ultralight combos to make this a little bit more interesting. Before we go in, remember guys, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers, and if we get there this year, this beard is getting shaved completely off. It's free to do, it's a red button right below the video. Click it, make it turn gray. Enable those bell notifications, that way you guys do not miss an upload, you don't miss a giveaway, and you don't miss any pond, backyard pond updates. All right guys, let's get inside. Oh, Jesus. Dude, what happened? What the, what is what this? Is, is that a, <laughs> you have a, Oh my gosh. Is that an earring? I, or a nose ring. Dude, Depends you just, feeling. a diamond just entered your foothole. The drip, what man. The freak. Oh no. What no. in the world? No. That's all you, bad. Don't throw it That's on That's all me, you, you sick freak. Oh, okay, Badge. So what are you thinking here? Are you a big red worm guy or are you a Canadian nightcrawler kind of guy? I'm, I'm kind of Canadian, dude. You got a little Canadian in you? A little Canuck? Oh my God, those have been dead for 10 years. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, whew, that ain't it. That's oh. more of what we're looking for right there. Dude, those things are freaking huge. Yeah. I think that might even be too big. Well, you can cut them in half. Get three packs. Three packs? Wait, they got the <laughs> they got the little little green ones too. We should get one of each, man. One of each. How many? Oh, look at those. We gotta get those. Those are freaking juicy. I wish they had some of the the googies. Oh yeah. That's really what we came in for. Was uh, you guys didn't know Goog and Squad? We make our own worms now. It's not a big deal. I'm just saying. But they normally have some. Now they don't have any. So. These are kind of similar though, like the, like the chartreuse. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. Real shiny when you, their blood like illuminates in the water. It's yeah. kind of crazy. Or not their blood, but they're like their juices or whatever. Mm. Yeah, it's just weird things going on here, but that's kind of ammo number one. Now we need to find a couple ultralight combos, maybe some bobbers, some hooks. You know, we need the whole nine yards here. Ah, ah, oh God. Oh, wow. that, thing, that thing's a little heavier than it looks. Yeah. I don't know why, I just feel like we need a net for this mission. Sometimes me and Badge will come in a store with the intent of getting one or two things and then for some reason it like snowballs into, well, why don't we get this too and let's get a net too. And it's like, well, yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm just thinking from where you fish at at the hidden pond to where the water is, is a pretty good dip. You remember that? Oh, like it goes down yeah. pretty far. Yeah. So I'm thinking Badge, camera in one hand, the net and just, oh, wow. just grab one like that. Yeah. What do you think, that I'm sound good? I'm just gonna good? knock them all off the hook. <laughs> Yeah, well, that'd be about par for the course for you, buddy. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Net skills, baby. Let's find some ultralight combos. Badge found a little uh, Mr. Crappy special here. Oh. Look at the reel on that bad boy right there. That's how we Slab like shaker. Slab shaking. Look at the uh, the noodle we got going on here. Dang Solid boy. Solid noodle going on. Although it's got a little bit of stiffness right there. So you're right telling at the me. Handle. Yeah, right at the handle. That's right where you want it to be really <laughs> stiff at. So you think this is going to do the job, buddy? 
I mean, for what we're going for, I believe so. Here's the thing, we don't really know what we're going for. That's the thing. Like, we, we, we kind of know what we're going for. The end goal here would be to catch some giant bluegill and brim that we know live in this hidden pond and then move them to our main pond. Yep. It's gonna be, you know, that's, that's bait for giant fish. But what we also could catch, there are bass still in there, bud. Badge. You know that. We didn't catch all the bass out of there. Yeah. I don't know. We've I mean, there, there, there's hard. not many, but if there, there's probably a couple left, there could be a damn random four pounder in Dude, there. Dude, what if there was a donk? I think there still is a donkey bass in there. Now, live worm, not really way high up on the bass's list, I don't think, but definitely will eat it. Should we, uh, should we take one of the smaller brim we catch and throw it out there? That might be an option. Once, once we're going, and if we catch a real small brim, yeah put him on the hook live. That's actually a good idea. We should do that anyways. Yeah. Just, just bring, bring one bass rig and just put a live bluegill on and just chuck it out there. Let's do and it. just let him sit and dance. That way if there is a giant bass, we could try to catch him while we're catching giant brim, putting him in the bucket giant. to relocate. See, we just came up with a plan right there. Boom, right there. Last five minutes, we've come up with an awesome plan. Nice little fish relocation. Kind of not really a fish rescue, but a pond rescue, if you will. So let's buy all this stuff get back to the house, rig up, put some mud boots on, because this is going to be the most treacherous trip to the hidden pond that we've ever had. It's been raining for a week straight. <laughs> so, hope you're ready for this, buddy. All right, folks, while we're down at the swamp, old badge is uh, operating a drone. Let me get the little slab shaker real quick. There are about a hundred nice little brim down here, and I want to catch one real quick. I just want to see what the deal is. See how they respond to these little chartreuse Squigglers. We're not looking too good, by the way. Bust that one in half. Nice little small hook, a little bobber. Even this is probably way too big of a piece of worm, but you know, whatever. See if we can catch one. Ow, that's a hook in the finger, man. Wowzers. Those little hooks are shark badge. God, this feels so weird. Oh, that's the switch right there. That's I didn't even know that. Oh, there's a berm right there. Oh, there's like ten of them. See if we can. Oh yeah, that's gonna get bit. Oh. Got him. Oh, he dropped it. You guys see how quick that was? Do I even still have a worm left? Well, they're attacking the bobber. There's the worm. There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at that. Well, we know one thing for sure. If we can't catch them, ow. Well, now you're a mudfish. Yeet. If we can't catch them in the hidden pond, we know we can get some brim out of here and relocate them. But you know what though? I kind of like having all these brim down here because we know if we ever need them, this is where they are. There's some much bigger ones like out there. That was kind of a smaller one. Let's flip them on out here. Wow, this, dude, this thing casts like a dream badge. This freaking slab shaker. Oh, missed him. Come on, come back for it. Dude, they're, they're everywhere. Oh, had another one. Oh God, they're attacking the bobber. I know y'all saw that. Oh God, there's 15 right in front of me, dude. They're attacking the bobber. Got another one. Oh, he's pulling drag badge. <laughs> oh, that's a much bigger one right there. I need to tighten up the drag on this guy. Come on. Look at that beautiful fish right there. Freaking Alabama bluegill. Look at that beauty right there. Almost a lipper. Look at that guy. Beautiful little fish right there. So when we switch to bass, which hopefully, you know, and they're, keep in mind, these are relatively small. That last one was okay sized, but those are relatively small bluegills compared to some of the ones that are in the hidden pond back through the swamp. But those size, once we get back there, those will be the size we put on the bass rig that we have. We'll show you all more about the rigs once we get back to the hidden pond. I think I'm gonna reward my friends, the old uh, brim, by tossing a couple of these fat jokers in there. Let's see if we can get a little feeding frenzy going on. Oh God, once they find those, it's gonna be on. Oh, here comes one. Oh, oh God, he's found him. Oh my God, he's got a huge mouthful. He's got them both. Oh, he's getting, oh, he's getting attacked. They're fighting. Badge, I got a freaking fight club going on here with the brim. Ha! One grabbed both of them and started to try to eat them and like three more came and jumped on them, tried to take them away. What a world. Badge, you ready, buddy? Ready as Got everything? Be. Actually, you need to lead the way. One, because you're lighter than me and two, because I mean, that's what you get paid for, man. Is it? You get paid to be attacked by a wild animal before me until you go out on your own. You ain't free yet, boy. Uh -huh. Man, this looks a lot different. Cause we used to walk like just straight through right there. Oh, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the worst trip to the hidden swamp or the hidden pond that we've ever done. 
Oh, a little leg submersion? Yeah. Yeah, get that bacterial laced water. Right. On that fresh cut. Yeah, that's, I agree. That's kind of the strap. All right, go ahead. I don't know where we're going. Fuck you leading the way, dog. Oh, God. Dude, this is so snaky. It's probably the dumbest thing we've ever done. Right. We gotta find the original path, man. And I don't know how you do that. I wanna, I'm, I'm backtracking. I wanna go over here. I don't know it's gonna be any better, but. I don't know. I mean, I'd much rather watch and walk in the water than that shit. You get you going from me because I got batteries in my pocket. Man, you're full of shit. I do. Oh my lord. I have my phone in my pocket. Wow. Just straight to the dong. Just straight sack. Oh man. Some of our subscribers do think we have an alligator. I've already said that before. Well, I'm waiting to see it. One of these days, we're going to get blessed with his presence. Or a water moccasin, which honestly, I don't know which one I'd rather see. I'd kind of rather see the gator, to be honest with you. I don't think the gator's gonna mess with you like the water moccasin might. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm sinking, man. Yeah? Yeah, I can't do anything. I mean, we might be okay if I can just get past this one spot. Maybe the gator strap. Maybe that's the way. Oh, wow, there is a nice little path right here. That's freaking, man, that's gatory. Yeah. That is just wow. I'm not even a joke anymore. Look at this. Look how this grass is laid over. Wow, bro. Kind of weird. No, this is like I'm I'm dead serious. Look this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's an animal. It's a large animal, not a otter, which we also have. But then again, a lot of this is laid down. You think it's like a bedding area? I don't know. Unless some gators are just massive. They're just like they're just like rolling around making love. Making love. Lojo's little love. love swamp. That's what I like to hear. I'd be there. This is purely for snakes, not gators. <laughs> hear that water flowing? Hmm? Is it always flowing like that? Oh. What is that? Alligator? This is so stupid. Shoo! Where's Flair at? He would freaking know what to do. Dude, there's like a walking path here. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'm trying to stay on this path because it ain't too bad on the path. Talk about a damn tick, man. I got one coming. Got a tick coming in hot. See, I think we can traverse around right there. You're making it longer. Well, then lead the way there, old man. If you're not satisfied with my navigational skills, I will gladly follow you. Three we walk up is right over there. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is kind of where we cross. And red vines be sticking. Yeah, they do. Oh, that water feels good on my naked wounds. Just nervous. Yeah? No. <laughs> Look at this water flowing in right here, dude. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Dude, you be sinking though. Yeah. Luckily, we weigh about the same, but luckily I got this net, so I feel like if a snake comes, I can net that bastard and then just shot put him across the swamp. Right. You're going to miss it so much when you're gone. So you're going to miss this so much. Like, I'm just missing being on land right now. I'm st stuck like Chuck. Oh, there it is. I think we cut in too, fa too quick, but... No, we're on the tree. Oh shoot, dude, the tree, yes. A friendly face, even though the alligators use it too. Now we're infringing on their territory, nice. Oh man, my legs are burning. We always do this in shorts too. Yeah. Like I have heavy pants, I just I never wear them because it's hot as shit. Right. Guys, this has really grown up since the last time we came here. We kind of swore off the hidden pond for a while, as you can see why. Because it just became such a chore to get here. Then we wait for summertime, which is the worst time. I'm trying to do it again with shorts on. Yeah, we do it for you guys. We freaking love you. Yeah, that's right, Pads. Let them hear you. Let them hear your war cry. The worst, I think, is behind us now. 
until we come back with a 12 pound bass right. in a bucket full of 18 pounds of water. This ain't even the worst part, as you know. We're so close, man. We're freaking right here. There's the pipe. Dude, this is all thorns right here. Yeah, that's great. Ah! Ah! It's got a hold of me. Ah, my hands. Fuck, this is all thorns right here. And the sun's gonna come out, dude. Just bake us on top of everything. Okay, let me just beat down these last couple and we're freaking there. We're gooch. We're all gooched up. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh, there it is. Oh my God. I tell you what, this net was worth every freaking penny. Even if we don't net one fish, worth it. Cause it helped me beat down on so much of this brush. Without it, I would have been using my hands. Oh my gosh, I see all the little brim down there while Badge is still working on getting out of there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and get, ow, a little worm piece on the hook here and see if I can get a brim popping. Get a brim on a little bass rig that we got here. I'm gonna take a piece of this one and then chuck the big body out to chum them up. That's just what kind of a cold guy I am. I'm cold hearted. We also need some water in this bucket, but to be honest with you, I don't know how I'm gonna get down here and get water. So for now, let's just try to catch a brim. Hopefully not a huge, oh, oh my God, Badge, there's a freaking four pound bass. Swear. Yes, he just swam away. I'm not kidding, he had a weird white thing on his face, like a weird markings. I just looked down there and saw it, it's incredible. He may have even, oh, he's still there. Dude, he may have just ate that worm I threw in there. That may have been what was hanging out of his mouth. There's no freaking way. Oh my God, he's, oh, he just ate my worm badge. Oh my God, no, that's a little one. There's a, there's two. Oh, it's a catfish. There's a, there's a bass down there, bro. Oh, Jesus. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, these are the kind that freaking hurt you too. Come on, calm down. Yeah, give me that face. Give me that spine in my head, in my hand. What the freak, Badge? I don't even know, dude. Little baby catfish action? Okay, yeah. of all the things we thought we were gonna catch, look at how skinny he is. He's actually really kind of weird looking. Yeah, I've never seen a malnutritious catfish. That is freaking weird. Dude, well, the freaking journey- Was worth it. Was it. worth <laughs> Dude, there, the four pound bass. Okay, so you, you just got up here. So I got up here, I took a worm, I poured, poured a, a, pulled a piece off of it to put on the hook, you know, to catch a brim. Mm -hmm. And then I threw the rest of the worm in there. It was a pretty long worm. And you know, I, I came up here, I was rigging this out. I looked back down, there's a four pound bass with a white thing on his face. I think that, I think he ate the worm. I'd, I'd believe it. So then I flipped it back in there and it got hit immediately. But I thought it was the bass, so I thought I saw his shadow, which I think I did. I think that catfish was just really eager. So you got a piece on yours? Oh yeah. You let a little worm guy? If you reel it up some, they're right there, like right by the pipe. That's where all the brim are. Yeah, where, where you are right now, you're about to get, there's 15 of them looking at it. You're about to get crushed. I think I saw a big one, big something. Is that a little bass? Yeah, there's a baby bass around too. I saw it. Oh, around. what do I get? You got one. Oh, that you had one. Dude. He came out. What a douche. Yeah, that was not cool. I'm probably about to catch one right here. It's gonna to be tough getting anything up over all this stuff, but I think you're just gonna to have to yoink them, you know? Uh, there we go, I'm about to have one. Maybe the worm's on the bottom, that's what's happening here. Oh, no, I had a stick, that's why they couldn't eat it. I do need to shallow it up a little bit anyways. <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> There's so much, I need to come down here with a freaking weed whacker, man. There we go. Oh my gosh, bad. Get your line off me. I got bit, dog. Oh, did you really? Yeah, well, that's what I yanked my crap in You me. know, I don't know. Don't know the answer to that question. Oh, I got him, but he's stuck on the tree. No! Yeah, that one's gone. Luckily, I have extra hooks. Ready to watch your face holes? Oh, I got one. I'm on. Oh, get him out of the tree. Nice, bad. I yes. Is he still there? Yeah, yeah oh. he's still there. That's perfect size, too. Oh, dude, yes. Dude, the bass rod's right there. Right there. All right, I'm getting it in there. Get him on there and chuck him out in the middle. I'm going to have to tie up a new rig, most likely. Oh, I got my hook back. What are the odds of that? 
Line's a little frayed, but for a brim, it's probably fine. All right, so we got our other rig here. It's just, you know, it's slightly heavier line. It's a bigger hook, obviously. That's a pretty big freaking brim, but, uh, you know, three, four pound bass, that ain't nothing to them. So yeah, skin hook that guy good. He's definitely gonna pull that bobber down, but it's all good. It's all good. He won't be able to stay down is the point. Here, flip that joker on out there. Oh yeah. Boom, shakalaka. Look at him go. He's digging. Yep. All right, well, I'm gonna let you man that thing, dude. Until, you, until something happens. I'm gonna keep trying to mess with these brim. Well, I didn't wanna do this, but we need water in the bucket desperately in case, for two reasons. One, so we can keep some brim to bring back. Two, if we hook a nice fish, we don't wanna be struggling, like a nice bass, we don't wanna be struggling to get water then. We wanna already have some water with an aerator going. I'm gonna get down there and then maybe you could throw me the bucket. Right. That'd probably be an easier trade-off here. Okay, I'm almost there. Yeah, this ain't gonna be too bad. Not any worse than what we just walked through. If you can just step on top of the thorns, it's not that bad. All right, could you hand me the bucket, buddy? Is that possible? If all these plants weren't thorns. <laughs> I got, he got me hung. Are you kidding me? Oh no, just let him, give him some slack. He might swim out of it. Here you go. It's okay, we got plenty of damn brim. We know how to catch him. So if we have to break that one off, we're fine. That's just straight dirt. Got some water. I'm gonna start loading this thing up with Bram if I can. Do it. Get a little aeration going here. This is what adventures are for, man. It is. <laughs> Bro time with fishing rads and sore legs. Okay, let me get the old crappy slabber in there. <laughs> get the old Slapmaster 250 in there. Oh God. There it is. <laughs> oh God. You see that? Yeah, there's a baby bass right there. He's swimming over to my worm. <laughs> I want to save him, but the last thing we need is more tiny. Yep, yeah, that's probably him. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Come down here to catch Bram. And oh, here we go. Starving bass. Got him. Oh, it came off. Oh, we can catch a starving bass and cat, starving catfish. Talk about a starving fish. That was the skinniest catfish I've ever seen in my life. Oh, dude, he just, he mashed that, that, that little worm like, Ink, yeah. ink went everywhere, or not ink, but the freaking juice. Juiced. That that yellow juice went everywhere. Golly, boy. Got him. Oh, that's a good. Uh, that's a good bass size right there. Nice. Put him in the bucket. Okay. I got the eye on the squig. Oh, I missed it. Excellent. Will you grab it. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's right there. Hey, yeah, right there in the god thorn bush. Yeah, yeah. About right there. Oh. Got him, dude. That nice one. That's only a five ouncer, but I like it. Dude, nice one. Nice, nice, nice. Oh! There it is. Almost went in. I like the little, oh! Yeah? I liked it a lot. Dude, freaking crappy master over here. What they call me? Freaking Slick Rick. Slick Rick the brim guide. There's got to be some right here next to this dang stick. <sighs> oh, bite. Come on. Hook yourself, you selfish bastard. <laughs> They're doing their little best. Oh, there was a bass. Dude, a brim had it and a bass was coming up to eat the brim. No way. Yes, there, it was a little bass. Yes, cause look how small this brim is, see? Oh. He was trying, yeah, I think it was the little bass that I've been seeing swimming around. Yeah, he was 100% trying to eat this guy. This is honestly a better size brim to try to catch bass anyways. Yeah. That little, well, I mean, we got him. Got him in the bucket. Yoink. And I hit badge in the crotch, sorry about that. Fish. Dude, get out of my hole, man. You're in my dang crappy hole. <laughs> Dude, this, this pond is literally like loaded with brim. Hungry, dominated by brim. Got him. That feels like a better one. Dude, there's there's bass chasing. Every time there's a brim, oh, God. you got one too? I got I wasn't even looking. Look at this guy. That's a slab. Slab. Slab city. Slab, slab city. Yeah, he swallowed it. I don't know how you un, un gut hook a freaking brim. Can you? I don't know. How good are we talking? I mean, he swallowed it. It's freaking yeah, quit dull. letting him have it. Got him. 
We're just loading the bucket. I love it. Okay. Wow, this weather might be changing on us really quick. Wow, that was that was close, my friends. Dude, think you need to think you need to watch what the hell you're doing. Cause that was too fucking close. I felt the wind off of it. Not not the tornado wind. Yeah. The bobber wind. Oh, here we go. I see some. They coming in. Oh yeah, they on it. Got him. And the bass was chasing him. Dude, there's a bass right here. And he is chasing every brim that gets hooked. How big? It's like a, like a pound, pound and a half. He might just earn a trip to the freaking pond though if he keeps on doing that. I mean, that is a man. I bet you they'll hit, hit this raw hook at this point. They're like, they're getting so fired up when this hits the water. Yep, they sure did. Oh, I got the bass. Badge, I got the bass on the, on the bear hook because he thought a brim was gonna freaking eat it. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I got a bass, baby, because he thought he's. I've, I've been telling you, I've been seeing this guy. He's been chasing freaking brim all gosh darn day. He might get his freedom, man. He may deserve his freedom. Should Don't we bucket you do him? It. No. No? No. Are you serious? I'm so serious. He's chasing brim all the time. Yeah. Was well, he a trophy? No. Well, let's give him his freedom. You know I got a soft heart, man. Here, put him in the bucket. I knew I was gonna catch that bass, man, if I kept at it long enough. Yeah, he hit, he hit a bear hook, man, that is nuts. Yes, come on, hit me. Yes, yeah, something's working on him. Oh, 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 badge, he's getting hit. He's getting murdered. Oh, God, come on, eat him, eat him. The bobber has gone down twice. The brim is now on top of the water, frantically trying to get away from something. Oh, he's going down, Badge. He's, oh man, he's going down, dude. Or is that just him pulling? I have no idea. I think he's pulling so hard. He is, I can see the brim swimming. Dude, he is desperately trying to get away from something. Oh my gosh, look at him, he's swimming in freaking circles, dude. Oh, the bobber's going down. Do you think something has him right now? Oh my God, this is nuts. There it goes. There he goes, Badge. You ready, buddy? Oh my God, you ready? You yeah. ready? You're... No! I don't know. I don't think you... I don't know, dude. But I'm gonna do it. Got him! Freaking oh, he's in a freaking tree, Badge! I got him, dude. Do you feel it fighting? Yes. Oh, I think I'm in a tree, but I'm he's pulling... I'm pulling the tree, too. But there may be a fish on there. I don't know. Oh my gosh. No! Is there a fish on there? Is there a fish on it? No badge. Oh. oh, dude, we were definitely getting hit like crazy. So we were just getting absolutely murdered right there. Oh, wow, that was almost a broken rod. I'm gonna do it again. Oh. Flipped him. Oh, I'm, I'm energized. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I was, exp I kept waiting for the thorns to like grab a hold and they never did. So yeah. I must have like fallen in the perfect place. Dude, we were just getting wrecked and the, the brim is gone. So. The hook is somewhere right there. Dang, dude. Yeah. The brim's gone. Dude, he was getting mashed, man. Like, I, the bobber went down like three different times, but like you said, it never really looked like whatever Where's had my him. bobber? Where's oh my, my God, that one's gone too. Where's the rod? It's right here. Here. Oh my you God, that, real, one's, that one's gone too. Oh my God. Oh, it came up. Dude, oh my God. We suck at fishing. Oh, there oh, it goes again. Real, real, real. Dude, he's freaking, my line's wrapped around this tree. Okay, here we go. Something's pecking at it. It's pecking at it. I don't know what the heck's going on yeah, here. Yeah, there's a lot of pecking going on. That can't be a good fish. This, this always happens at the Hidden Pond, dude. We, you, you remember, you know what I'm talking about? We, we always get bites. We always get bites. We always get played with. Oh, they ate its eyes, dude. Yeah, his, I think his brim buddies have eaten his own gosh darn eyes, but that wasn't brim pulling it down like no. that. No. Okay. All right, guys, so there's, <laughs> It's just starting to sprinkle a little bit. We put our we put our lines back out there, but not sure if anything's gonna happen. I, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat this storm. That's the problem. And it's gonna get dark really quick too. So if we wanna relocate all these fish, our new pet bass and a bunch of feeder brims, then we need to kind of head back now. So let's start the trek back, get back to the main pond. Oh, I'm breaking the net and I'm losing the aerator. Oh, and the thorns are inside me. I'm hit. I'm down, the thorns have got me. <laughs> Man, this sucks a lot worse than I remember. Wait for me, you selfish bastard. <laughs> uh, oh, 
<laughs> I didn't mean to hit you. Don't leave me here, you sick f My phone is now submerged totally. Oh, the pee pee's been wet. That's just from walking behind you. Oh. Oh. See, now we're just in straight bulldoze mode now. Yeah. Now pain doesn't even matter. That's it, badge. Just keep going. I can see the buggy. Oh, oh it spit on a briar and then it put it back in my mouth. <laughs> Get down, Badge! Put your head down! There's ah. spiders everywhere! They're in my head. I'm not saying it. Okay, let's do a quick review here. So, we got one bass and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven brim, including one kind of nice one. But now we caught way more than that, but we were using some as bait. We cut one in half. We lost a couple to maybe bass. Not really sure. Let's see if I can get the bass out of here. Because this is our new pet bass right here, Badge. I wish we had our, oh, we do have our tagging equipment. Should we tag him? Mm, I think a catfish will eat them fast for sure. Oh, I'm succubus. Well, see, I keep grabbing spines of brim. Right. Trying to get the bass. Boom, there we go. I know it's a small fish. It's kind of counterintuitive because eventually we're going to start removing small bass from this pond. But you know what? This guy's a fighter. He deserves it. He ate a, he ate a raw hook. That's what he did, remember? Yeah, yeah that He was ate intense. a bare hook. So we got a nice tail size. It's kind of how I figured that they're gonna be bigger. They have a nice size tail. So let's just let's give him the old chuck. That way he can get the heck out of here quickly. Now Brim, you know, that's a nice size one right there. Where'd he go? There's a couple really nice ones in there. Like that one. That's a nice, that's a nice little bluegill yeah. right there. Yeet. That one doesn't look too good. Throw him to the side for daddy. Well, he, uh, he's gonna, you wanna catch a catfish, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. All right, well. There you go. He's perfect. To, he's not even flopping. The rest of them look good though. And some of them have been hooked and put back in there, so. There we go. So, we've provided some more bait for the pond. Not a lot, mind you. I mean, obviously, seven brim and one of them's dead. Another one's dead over here. So, it was more, of, more or less just to try to save some more fish out of that hidden pond that's really nobody fishes. So, I feel good about this. Got a pet bass out of the deal. Got to do a little bit of micro fishing. What's the name of that rod? Slab? Slab shaker? Something weird. That's so cool. It was really fun. I'm not going to lie. It was actually a lot easier to fish with than I thought it was going to be. Had a great time, guys. Got to use some worms, some real live little uh, chartreuse neon worms, which is something that we don't get to do on the channel a lot. That was a lot of fun. Trekking through the backside of the swamp was not fun. No. Not at all. That wasn't it. Legs are just absolutely shredded and... You know, what else can I say? It was fun, we do it for you guys, we do it to have fun. It was fun now that it's all over. But guys, make sure you're smashing the thumbs up button if you like these hidden pond videos or micro fishing or bluegill fishing, whatever it was that you liked about this video because there was a lot going on, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Also make sure you're subscribing, that way we can get to a million subscribers this year and shave this beautiful face. Go check out Andrew over at AO Fishing. Mm. Love you guys, thank you for watching as always, we out.